for and like going back to to the formulating an opinion on on the true end it's like it's really difficult to do so because you know what would happen if like your best friend you know just came up and told you uh, i may have accidentally killed off your sister or your brother or something you know or someone <laughs> you know yeah like you know someone that you love and, and like, like you know other people have different reactions to it like i've seen people say like oh maybe you know they all forgave him in the end and you know you know everything is all good and all but then you see people with a sort of a realist outlook on life yeah like you know they they think that you know with everything that's happened you know perhaps uh, Aubrey you know lashed out at him at the end and we never saw that or maybe Hero you know maybe he he took a sort of like more silent approach to it you know like maybe he's he's trying to think about it in his head and well, you know, well, all this is happening. And then Kel is just, you know, like, while he, he tries to maintain a positive outlook on life, maybe it, it's it's kind of done something to him at this point. Like, you know, because he's had to deal with all this pain as well, but in his own way. Like, and in, 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 of course, in his own way, he's, I guess, in from what I see, is like, he tries to kind of block it out with his own optimism. But then having to hear that coming from his best friend, is like, you know, you never know. Maybe he, maybe something in him has changed at that point. But then, but then with how uh, Omo Cat did it and their team, like, you know, how they've done it, it's like, he just, we assume he confesses. And then, you know, it just cuts to black. And then it, they just put you in the cab in um, Sunny's perspective. And like, you know, with the, and, and for, for other people, it, it kind of puts them off. Cause it's like, damn, like what happened after that? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's like, I, for me, it, it was very interesting to see everyone else's reaction to it very very interesting like how i thought about the true ending was that you know after a sunny confesses um i would assume aubrey takes like a moment to take it all in but perhaps she she may have lashed out at him for a bit and then afterwards you know maybe she just breaks down after all that because for her to go through all that all that pain and then trying to go through her, like her what i see as a uh, as a healing art because you know she's a uh, finally you know going out with her friends again or with her old friends and you know basically just just trying to to put things to put the past to rest you know and that's how i see aubrey would have dealt with it and then kel man, I, I i don't even know about kel like you know we, throughout the game we see him as being very positive but people have their limits you know um like i've seen it before like like people who are usually calm and reserved uh, eventually if if like if stress stacks up they eventually have to lash out whether in private or in public um people who are optimists are you know they can have that positive outlook but eventually if they're dealt with a lot of if they had to deal with a lot of turmoil and pain you know that optimism can go away in a snap um and for kel it's like i always thought about how he would think about it because like i said he he had to he had to hear that confession from his own friend and then being right beside the person that thought of 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 you know hanging mari to like you know to basically frame herself as someone who is suicidal it's like it's it, i would see that as very damaging and um you know i, I can see kel becoming like a, a completely different person after after all that um and possibly you know just yeah someone who's had like a changed outlook on life like he he could be positive but he probably now has like this outlook where it's like you know maybe i should take things like more seriously this time instead of being some Someone who's like you know positive and energetic you know like I, I gotta calm down look at things that for you know at, in the bigger picture and just take it all in and just process it you know it's, like I, I don't, yeah you know for kill I, I i can imagine that being very damaging for him and then for hero it's like oh man i i can't even i i feel for hero too because you know it's like because i kind of see myself in him in, in a little bit like you know someone who, who's like mature someone who's you know out outgoing at times you know willing to kind of experiment a little because with him it's like he took up baking to you know kind of guide himself through what was going on but like you know to hear that you know the one that you love that because i think because they were both like girlfriend and boyfriend i would assume right I, I don't know if like hero actually asked her out or anything like that i would assume they are you know but it's like to hear that your girlfriend didn't turn out to be suicidal but instead she was hung because um her brother pushed her down the stairs and then her best friend decided that it would be a great idea to to just hang her on a tree it's like i can absolutely see him like you know just absolutely lashing out 
you know, it's just total breakdown. And and then like, and then another side of me is like, oh, but you know, maybe they're all gonna deal with this their own way. But eventually, you know, they'll calm down, they'll process it a bit more, and they'll uh, they'll eventually forgive. Them. That's 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 my kind of head cannon that's happened. Like you know, because everyone's very emotional in the moment, no matter who you are. You can be as composed as you want. You could be. You could have a, a lot of life experience. But the moment that you have to go through something and you have to be in that vulnerable emotional state, you're probably not gonna act the way that you thought you're gonna act in that moment. And I can see that happening for each and every one of uh, of, of the people in that ER room with Basil and, and Sunny. Um, like just Aubrey, you know, having her lash out moment, breaking down. Kella just having like like that that sudden like moment of like realism like you know like just and then hero like you know just thinking about it all as well but in a more i guess i would see him like a more aggressive way but then after the smoke clears you know everyone takes time to process it and i would love to say that they kind of forgave um, um sunny in their own way but it's like it's, it's very tough because like i said it, like everyone reacts a different way to it and we and i'm sure everyone that's that's seeing this video you me you know we've all seen it you know in the comments in the forum posts like we all see people depict the ending like in their own very special way um and it ranges from you know people being optimistic about it to people being realists maybe even pessimistic about it you never know but for me it's like you know you gotta take it uh, how do i say this it's like you have to see see it from for the bigger picture that it because yes granted you know it can all turn out well in the end like you know nobody has to be hurt about it but you know imagine if that was like actual real life you got you have to really think about it you know it's like that's just how it is you know that like sometimes you just gotta really see things for what they are and but then i go back and going through the true ending and for me personally like going through like the pain all the restarts that i had to do uh, like looking up guides and everything just to 100% the game and get what I would I would think is like the true true ending where it's like you know if you 100% the game um, if you got all the flowers in um, Sunny's room uh, you've done all the tasks in town um, eventually once you go through the ending scenes and like go through the credits it goes to like a small post um, post ending scene where I guess it's after Sunny confessed, and um, and then you see Sunny and Basil like kind of stare at each other while everyone is is processing what Sunny just said, and in the and then it cuts to Sunny with um with something behind him, and um, eventually, well gradually something it disappears behind him, and then finally like in, in a refreshing moment like you see Sunny smiling for the first time. I think that's what happened. Yeah, and then it cuts to Basil. And then his something gradually disappears and then he's able to smile after a while as well it's like for me that that, that was like a that had, that had to be like the true experience for it like you can't experience a true ending if you don't 100 percent the game and like i would highly recommend anyone who hasn't 100 percent of the game and got the true ending to absolutely go ahead and do that but you know for me to kind of see sunny and basil having that heart-to-heart -heart moment from, from like you know opposite sides of the room like you know it was just it was just the game telling you that you know now they've gone through all that but now they can let it rest you know they can go through and go on with their lives now granted it they might not come with the forgiveness of their friends but at the end of the day you know they've confessed they've told their friends what truly happened you know all that all that stress is is, is basically like loaded off their shoulders they're practically free from you know their mental and emotional shackles and they can like actually just go ahead and and, and start their their path to you know just moving on uh, that that's kind of how i saw the true ending. It, it's like they might not have have gained the the forgiveness of their friends or maybe they did who knows in, in my opinion i feel like they did but after a period of pain and anger it's like you know after all that and then maybe they they might have forgiven um, Sunny and, and Basil, but then after that, it's like you know they can just they can they can basically just move on.
you know, I know like uh, Amori, you know, it, it, it brings to light, you know, what happens to someone, you know, when, when they're going through such a traumatic experience. And it's like, like, no matter what it is, whether it's the, the, the death of, of someone very near and dear to you, or just something like a, a unfortunate event that that's occurred in your life, you know, it's like, it really makes you think a lot about it. And for me, it's like, like over the, the, the months that's passed, I, like after Amori, it's like, I've, I've seen like myself as someone who who wants to be more in tune with with my friends you know because i never want to you know like i don't i don't want to be that guy that's like you know oh like like you know he's, he's cool and all but uh, he doesn't talk a lot unfortunately <laughs> Because, you know, before Amori, like, I was, like, like very reserved. Mm. I, I, like, I would always be, like, I can bring up a conversation, sure. But then after that, I just got, like, dead silence. Like, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't much of a social person. But then, you know, after seeing those endings, and then finally working myself up to 100% the game and getting the true ending, it's like, you know, like, now it's, for me, like, you know, I, I don't want to leave anyone behind. Oh, of course, you know, I shouldn't push myself too much to the point where I'm stressing out about it. But I want to be there for, for you know, my, my closest friends and my family now. Because, you know, sometimes you never know what might happen, you know. Like, throughout these months, like, I've seen um, people pass away, uh, people coming and going. And it's like, you know, you, you gotta cherish, you gotta cherish the moments together, you know. And, like, nothing may be permanent, but it's best to look at life the sunny side up, basically. Yeah, you know, just being able to see everything in a positive way. But um, for everyone out there, I guess I can only really close it off with, with something that I've heard in um, in uh, Darkest Dungeon. I, I, I remember this one quote from one of the main characters in the game, and it's something that kind of resonated with me a little bit throughout my life. Um, it, it goes like this. It, it's a very simple quote as well. Um, the sun is brightest after the darkest. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say.